What up everybody, it's your boy Jess Brandon, back with another great video. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know how extremely difficult it's been lately to get your hands on any guns or ammo. Uh, with the bulk of the content of my channel being guns and ammo related reviews, you'll forgive me for not being able to keep up with the uh, consistency in uploading videos like, they were, like I originally planned. Um, honestly speaking, the product just isn't available. Uh, one thing that has been available, though, surprisingly enough, are optics, and namely red dot optics. In a year where you or some people can't get guns and ammo to quite literally save their lives, the uh, red dot optics have been in abundant supply just pretty much about everywhere. So with that in mind, I thought I would take this opportunity to give you guys three optic choices under 100 bucks. Is that something you're interested in? Stay tuned, it's coming right up. Before we jump into the list, I did want to give an honorable mention to the Hiram Red Green Dot. This is an optic I came across after watching a review from a YouTuber known as 704 Tactical. Uh, the, the reason it's not on the list is because it's more on the uh, cheaper end of the spectrum and uh, it's imported from China and mostly sold through Amazon. So they have quite a few quality control issues. Uh, basically, it's hit or miss. You might order one and it works, and you might order one and it doesn't work. I happen to get fortunate enough to order one that actually works, and this thing has been phenomenal. Currently, I'm running it on my Freedom Ordnance FX9 PCC. I've also ran it on my uh, Ruger PC Carbine, as well as my Springfield AR-15. And this thing's ran like a champ. Uh, like I said, your quality issues being the reason I can't recommend it. And that's why it's on the honorable mentions list instead of on the list itself. This is the Hiram Red Green Dot. All right, up first, we got the Bushnell Trophy TRS-25. This is just your standard run-of-the-mill red dot. It's a 3MOA. It has 11 position it has 11 brightness settings and it's pretty much your standard red dye you've been able to find these pretty much at every local gun store they do sell them on amazon they do sell them online at like optics planet and you know academy brownells and places like that this is actually their base model they do sell one that comes with a picatinny riser but this one does not and Normally, these run about $129, but this year, I've been seeing them for around the $99.99 price range. I actually picked this one up on Black Friday for $89. So far, this thing's held up fairly well. I've only ran it on my um, FX9 at this point, but it's handled the recoil of the direct blowback fairly well. It hasn't shifted zero from being taken off and put back on at all. And it comes with a one-year warranty. So, all in all, for, for the money, I would call this a very good red dot. This is the Bushnell Trophy TRS-25. Next up, we have the SIG Romeo MSR. Now, I will be honest with you. Last year, I could not find these things to save my life. This year, they seem to be in every single store, stacked as tall as the ceilings, and in some places, even stacked on the floor. Everybody has them, and everybody has a crap ton of these things. Um, once again, it's the basic red dot sight. This is only a red dot. It doesn't have the red and green. It just has the red dot, but it has two night vision settings as well as 10 daylight settings, which brings the total illumination to 12. It has, um, instead of the rubber bungee lens covers, it has actually flip-up caps. And the flip-up caps can be kept on as long as they're clean, and you can use them, you can use the optic that way. And um, it actually includes an absolute co-witness or one inch riser for uh, I think it's 0 0.83 inch I'm sorry for absolute cold witness on this thing uh, once again these usually retail for about 129.99 but I've been seeing them everywhere 
for $89.99 and that's exactly what I picked this one up for. This is the Sig Romeo MSR. Coming in at number three on my list, this is the Sightmark QD Reticle. A little bit different. It's not a red dot, it's actually a reticle. And what, why this one made the list specifically is because it has like six different dots, so to speak. So it has, um, uh, read, I'll read it to you if I can find it. Oh, that's Spanish and that's French. I don't speak either one of those languages. So here's what we'll do. We'll have, um, I'll actually just show it to you on the back. So if you look at it, it has three, it has four different reticle settings for each red and green color. And it has, I want to say 10 brightness settings for each. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. For the price uh, the only complaint I had about it is the QD on mine at least didn't what well, doesn't stay tight so I ended up having to lock tight it and uh, get it to work that way but the QD would pop off it couldn't handle the recoil of the uh, 556 so I get a couple of um, rounds into it and then the QD would pop off but since I lock tighted it I haven't had that issue anymore but um Normally, these retailed for, I want to say, about $159.99. And everywhere I've seen these things so far, they've been coming in right around that $100 price point. And if you can get into one of these QD reflex sites, if that's your thing, for about 100 bucks, this is probably as good as it gets for that price point. Um, Sitemark originally had kind of a spotty reputation, but... I'm not sure if they change ownership or what, but you know, their quality has definitely gone up a lot in the years. And I can sit here now having used their products and I can actually recommend them. I have no problems with them whatsoever. I found this at um, a local mom and pop gun shop. Uh, I think they sold it for like 120 and I went down the street and found it at a big box retailer for about a hundred bucks even. So that's where I picked it up. Um, overall, man, you can't go wrong with any of these, whether it's the Sightmark, the Bushnell, or the Sig Romeo, for right around that $100 price point, if you're trying to get into a red dot optic or a reflex style sight, either one of these I can highly recommend. That's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. I am Jess Brandon. We'll see you on the next one.